Hi everyone, welcome to Java Techie. In an enterprise application, one of the most common challenges is authentication and authorization of the users. While there are many ways to do it, it's really worth considering an external identity provider approach either via OAuth2 or SAML. The reason is that it typically gives great and proven security without the need to code and maintain the whole process. So one of the best external identity providers given by Microsoft is Azure Active Directory, which many organizations already use for identity and access management in corporate networks. So in this tutorial, I'll walk through on how to secure a Java Spring Boot application using Microsoft Azure Active Directory, which is a great and widely adopted example of a reliable identity provider. Okay. All right. So without any further delay, let's get started. So the first step to start using this Azure Active Directory as an external identity provider, you must have an account on Azure. Once you have an account on Azure, then you can go to this particular URL, portal.azure.com. Then this is the home page of the Azure Cloud. Okay. Now you can see the search bar here. Whatever the service you want to use from Azure Cloud Infrastructure, you can simply search here. In our case, we want to use the Active Directory. Right, so you can type here Azure. Now the services will be highlighted here. Just click on this particular service. So it will redirect you to this particular page. And here you can observe right default directory Azure Active Directory. Now you need to set up a new tenant. Okay, just click on this manage tenants. And it will show you the default tenant, but we want to create a new tenant, right? So here is the option to create. Just click on this create tab. Then in the basic configuration, just choose Azure Active Directory. Now review and create. But before that, I also want to set this configuration. Okay. Now click on next configuration. Here you can give your organization name. And if you have your own domain, you can specify that and location of your tenant. So let me give the organization name something like Java Techie Education. And domain name, let's say I don't have any domain with the Java Techie, but let me give this name. We'll see what is the result. Already in use by another directory. Someone is already using this domain name. So what I'll do, I'll just change it to Java Techie for you. Let's see what is the result. It looks good. So there is no error. What we can do now, we can review and create it. So just click on it. Then click on create. It will ask you to provide the CAPTCHA code. Let me add that code. Click on submit. So once your tenant will be created, you will get this message. Tenant creation was successful. Click here to navigate to your new tenant. Okay, Java Techie hyphen education. Usually it take one to two minutes to create a tenant. So just click on this. Then it will redirect you to the tenant page. So make sure you copy this tenant ID for your further use because anyhow we are going to delegate our authentication request from our application to this Azure Active Directory. Okay, so that is the reason you need this tenant ID. So let me copy it somewhere. Now next you need to register a app. So here you can see the icon app registration. Just click on this app registration. Here you can view all the application if you already registered them. View all application in the directory. Just click on this. If you have any other application registered already, it will be listed down here. But there are no applications here. We have not registered anything. Now click on new registration. So give your application name. Let me give something like Java Techie Web App. Okay. Or Java Techie Service, something like that. Okay. Let me give Java Techie Service. Who can use this application or access this API? You can specify account in this organization directory or you can make it external. Okay. Since I am using the free trial, 
account in this organization directory only who is part of this particular active directory they can only able to access my application if you want to configure it external then uh, i don't think we can do it in the trial account that's fine now here you need to choose the redirect uri so first you need to provide which type of your application it is web application because we are going to create a spring boot application now here you need to provide your redirect uri which will be http local host port of your application i will give 9191 okay then you can define auth2 slash code so it seems the okay so this should be slash and also you can add login http local host then port of your application slash login slash auth2 slash code now click on register we want to register this as a new application it will take few second so once your application will be registered you will get one application or client id okay so i will copy this client id for further use fine now next step this is a client credential so you need to generate a secret value so click on add a certificate or secret if you want to make it https you can add your own certificate but we will go with the http because we are just developing a spring boot application to redirect the authentication request to this azure active directory okay now here you can click on new client secret description let's say uh, you can give any name okay java tech key application and how long you want to keep that secret value will be active you can specify here let it be this is the default configuration so i will just simply add this secret now this is the secret value you need to copy this value for further use because from our application we need this information that's it these are the three key information required from our application to redirect all our incoming request to this azure active directory for authentication okay cool so we are done with the app registration and generating all the application id secret and tenant id now the next step we have not configured anything specific to the authentication right now here you can see the tab called authentication just click on this authentication then just scroll down implicit grand and hybrid flows so here since our application is just a web application so we can just use the id token okay there are two option access token and id token so we'll go with the id token and supported account type is correct so allow public client flows it is up to you enable the following mobile and desktop flow so let it be no for now because we are not going to uh, expose anywhere okay fine now click on save it's still taking time so i believe it's saved so let's verify it just click on this and come back to authentication to verify whether the changes is there or not yeah it is there so this information is saved now the next step we are done with the authentication now the next step you just need to add the user you just need to add the demo user for your application so that we can test from our spring boot application right in the organization they create the user in a group they have specified specific group to the active directory but since this is the sample application i just need to go with a single user creation so for that go to your active directory home page here you can see the option called users just click on this users so you can see here default user is there which is the display name basantota and the principal email id but we want to create a new user just click on this new user click on create new user now here you need to define the name so it will be append with the java tech for you on microsoft.com so you can give some valid name let's say i will give test hyphen user fine now you need to copy this this will be your user name test hyphen user at the rate java tech for you on microsoft.com so let me copy this now what is the name here display name also test user password let me define something like 
fine now next properties is not required so simply click on review and create yeah so it will take few seconds to create let me refresh the page so you can see here user is registered in this particular page and we can able to see the new user fine test hyphen user now we have created the user next we need to specify the role for authorization it is up to you if you want you can also do the authentication and authorization so how you can do that go to the active directory again go to the application what you register app registration but you can see the application name here right okay let's go inside the application this is our app view all the application in the directory click on your application now here you can see the option called app rules okay just click on this then you can just specify the role here so simply you can click on this create app role now here you can give the display name let's say um, i'll give something like sample dot admin this is my role display name i will use allowed member member types user and groups and what is the value you can give let's say the role is admin okay now i want to the user what i created i want to specify the role for him is admin similarly you can create n number of user and you can specify app role to them now description i'll give the same sample dot admin that's it now what else click on apply create new app role that's fine okay so we have created the authentication user and we specify the role to that particular user now the last step just click on the enterprise application so you will find that just go back to the directory i believe let me verify no it's not inside the application so just go to the home go to the azure active directory here yeah can you see here enterprise applications now the application what you created you need to specify the role and user to that specific application okay so that is the reason go to the enterprise application and here you will find your own application right so what you can do next i believe just click on the application let's see whether it is giving option to assign the user or not role and administrator user and groups yeah can you see here getting started assign users and groups just click on this and then just click on add user and group groups are not available for assignment due to your active directory plan label since i am using the trial version this group assignment is not available for me i can assign the user and role already assigned to that specific user now just click on this non selected you will get the option to assign the user okay since we observe we have two user this is the default user and this is the test user we created with the role and all so i'll use the test user okay now click on select click on assign now if you observe test user with the role admin is being assigned to the application what we created okay that's fine now the last step just reset the password of your user okay so it will come with the default password so you just need to reset it just click on that specific user and here you will find the option to reset the password just click on that reset the password password has been reset and this is the temporary password just copy this password for your reference that's it okay we are done with the configuration from the azure active directory from the azure cloud infrastructure now the next step just create your own application and just give the tenant id application id and secret value what all things we have configured and while login you just need to give this username and password so that your request will be redirect to the azure active directory for authentication and authorization okay cool now let me quickly create a new project from the intellij idea click on file new project click on next specify all the information next define the dependency 
so I'm going to use the web endpoint I mean web dependency to expose an endpoint so that we can validate the authentication step and also I want to use Azure Active Directory fine now the next I also want to use auth to client because from my application all the request I want to redirect to Azure Active Directory so this will be work as a open ID connect okay so I'm using auth to client click on next finish so it seems there is some issue on the latest version of Spring Boot 3.1.2 so what I will do I will go to the palm and I will change it to the 3.1.2 let me refresh it I don't know from the ID when we are creating the uh, Spring Boot project it is appending the release as a string let's see whether there is any error okay so no error all good so we are using the latest Spring Boot version 3.1.2 fine you can see here and what all dependencies we have added here Spring Boot starter auth to client web dependency and active directory that's fine now you just need to define a small endpoint okay so I'll just I'll use the same class to define a endpoint rather than create a controller class I'll annotate here at the right rest controller then I'll also define request mapping and just define the endpoint API so I'll just write a method here public will return string okay I'll return some string so add something like spring boot plus Azure Active Directory authentication example something like that okay fine I'll just define here at the red get mapping I'll define the URL anything welcome or login whatever it's comfortable for you okay just define the endpoint man based on this endpoint we are going to access this particular method and we'll get the result that's fine we have did all the setup in Azure cloud infrastructure in Azure Active Directory we created we created our application we created a user we created authentication and we specify the role to that application and user that's fine now from my application how can I connect to the Azure Active Directory that is the reason we keep this information with us so we need to configure this tenant ID application ID and secret value in your application dot properties or YML file so I will simply create a file new file then simply just define spring cloud azure fine then active directory enable it now what you need to define you need to define the profile in that profile you can specify your client and tenant id so the tenant id will be the one which you already copied okay copy this properly now you need to define your client id which is your application id okay so what you can do you just need to define the credential client ID which is nothing your application ID don't be confused while creating secret also you will get one client ID don't use that your application ID should be your client ID next just define the client secret that will be one random string this one that's it now what you need to do I will specify my server port and then I will just enable the forward header strategy okay to native so it will be run behind the proxy so I need to set that server port 9191 the reason I am giving 9191 because in the Azure Active Directory while register my application I have specified the URL with localhost 9191 that is the reason I am giving this now also I just need to specify forward header strategy native that's it we are all good to run our application now go to the main class simply run it so you can see here application is running on port 9191 now just go to the browser let me open a tab in cognito mode so I'll just type localhost 9191 slash API slash login that is what the URL we have specified right just enter it 
it's asking you to give your email id i mean the username so for us the username is this one test hyphen user this one just paste it next it's asking us the password for now we can specify the password is the temporary one which we just reset I don't know what is the name okay that's fine just paste the password sign in now it will ask you the option to update your password so the current password is this one now new password I will give something like click on sign in we got the result here let me zoom this for you the endpoint we are able to access and we got the result after we did the fully authentication with Azure Active Directory we have specified the role as an admin if you want you can give a try with the pre-authorized annotation okay and you can specify the role to access this specific endpoint so I, I didn't specify any authorization code here because I have defined only one user as an admin so if you want to play with authorization just define multiple user with the different role and you can define multiple endpoint and you can play with that okay now since we update our password what I'll do let's verify I will close this and I will open a new tab to just verify whether it is allowing me to access with the new password or not I need to give my username the username is same that is what we created specify the username next this is not the default password this is the password I have updated just now let's see I forgot what I have defined yeah correct one we are able to get the result Spring Boot plus Azure Active Directory auth example demo this is the endpoint so this is how you can integrate Azure Active Directory to your application as a external identity provider they will take care about your all the user and role specific configuration and all you no need to store anything in your DB that is the reason of using this external um, uh, authentication provider right so like we already tried key clock right similarly this Azure Active Directory also external authentication and authorization provider just try this out and do let me know in a comment if you guys have any doubts that's all about this particular video guys thanks for watching this video meet you soon with a new concept